Rashawn is the girl Rashawn that we talking about cooking that romance, urban style, whatever you want to call it. We in the kitchen today cooking up something that's going to keep your man. Do you wonder what's going on? Can you keep your man at home? I'm telling you there's a way to get to his stomach. I'm telling you it's right here in this kitchen. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. And if you want to keep him at home, if you want to surprise him when he gets home, this is the way to do it. And we started up right for all those ladies that got kids and, and ain't got time to do it from scratch. I'm telling you, this is how I do it sometimes with the time as you would take yourself to do. So you want to make sure that you keep your hands clean. Of course, sanitation is always a plus. You don't want nobody, you know what I'm saying, to get sick or you you to be food to come out the house talking about I got sick and they ain't going to want to eat your food. So what you got to do, food, is you got to wash your hands. It's easier on you if you wash as you go along, so you turn around and you don't have all that to do as you, you know what I mean, as you get ready, which gives you more time to pick your outfit for that man when he come home, the one that's been working hard, taking care of everything, you know what I mean, and all you gotta do is keep the house clean and, and keep the dinner going, please, just put it to work, and once you get in that flow, it's nothing like it, like I said. Like he was saying, there's nothing like getting your man, you know what I'm saying, get him to where he will stay home. How, what, is the, what is the way to a man's heart? <laughs> it's his stomach and a lot more, but we do in the stomach right now. We ain't going to get into that other stuff right now. So, as I said, you wash your greens, get them ready to put in. Mix it into your, to your, what you got going on over here already. Stir it in with the, with the good and the old, the old and the new, you know what I'm saying? You mix it in. We also have the king size, but we don't need that right now because we making it, we making it for a family of four, so. But as I say, it depends on how you are, what you doing in life. Use that if you want, if you need to. Right now, we got some power greens going on, and just to speed it up for you, we um we put it on like it was, you know what I'm saying, like it didn't take that long. But right now, we got greens going, and just to show you an example of how to get it going for yourself at home, most people they do it, you know what I'm saying, they wash it down and they just rip it in half, whatever, like that. But some people also like to. Cut it down, cut it down like this, you know what I'm saying, on a cutting board. Okay. So what they do is they roll it, kind of roll it like that, like you was doing sushi, you know what I'm saying, and then you just cut it in half, and that was separated, and you know what I'm saying, you get it together, and you take it, and you put it back in the water, you know what I'm saying, you drain your greens, you just stick them in there. Um, like I say about medium height, medium height, and there's a difference as you can see. So a light green and a dark green that's already ready, which is a dark green, and a light green just represents, you know what I mean, in the making, in the making of a good batch of greens, collard greens. Sometimes you can mix it with, you know what I'm saying, the mustard greens or whatever, it's up to you. But I stick to my collard greens and that's the story I got on. As far as the music goes, whatever makes you comfortable, whatever you listen to, you know what I mean? You get in the flow of that, you know, making dinner and making that, making it good enough for your man. It's going to make you crunk and once you get in that flow of, you know what I'm saying, throwing the getting the shit out the, the getting this stuff out the, um, the cabinet, you know what I'm saying, throwing it together however you do. I'm saying, I'm just giving you an ability to get it done, get it done fast, and get it done entertaining. So right now, like I said, we have the greens. You can tell the difference between what's ready and what's not ready is the darkness. It's darker if it's done, and the lightness means that it's not ready. It still has a way to go. Usually it takes about two hours, two and a half hours to get the greens going. So we're going to put that on hold right now. It's not that hard to get it, you know what I'm saying? You start doing your own thing. You know how you're asking, how does this Hawaiian chocolate girl get it down home cooking, home southern style? And that's because she get it from her mama. No other, no other way to put it. My mom is originally from Texas, and she taught me how to cook 
at an early age, she said you need to come in the kitchen and, and see how it goes down and what you're supposed to do. And at first, I didn't think it was <laughs> vital. I didn't want to do it. It was boring. But as, as she put it out there for me, I started to take an interest. And here I am today. Here I am today. And as you can see, as far as the collard greens, I was waiting for that to... to to kick off you can see the difference between what's ready and what's not ready the darker greens means that it's fully cooked and the lighter areas mean that it still has a little while to go but it shouldn't take like I said over more than two and a half hours at the most so you gotta go and get those fresh greens you can't hold it in the refrigerator that long but you get those fresh greens and you peel them off the vein and you know what I'm saying do however you cut it into what's easier for you, however your family size is, but it shouldn't take more than two and a half hours at the most. And we'll let that simmer and let that simmer and get ready as well. <laughs> as it starts to, to get done. You want to make sure you get that juice out of it so it doesn't fall in the whole plate. A little juice is okay, but too much is ridiculous and will ruin the whole plate. Like I said. So this has been cooking, cooking up romance with Prashanda and Terrence Warm. Um, we just hope that you get the gist of the situation here, get the gist of the the uh, program. It allows you to, like I said, get the romance stirring up again in the relationship. Um, if you have any questions, please, please, please feel free to email me, Rashonda, R-A-S-H-A-N-D-A, 808 at yahoo.com, and I will be glad to, in, to answer any questions that you have. Thank you again for tuning in. See you soon.